<laughs> Hi guys, it's Shayla Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So, before we further on with the video, please give it a likes up and please subscribe because you don't want to miss this. If you can stop my friends, comment in the comments below. Mm. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a story time. So today we're going to start it off easy, you know, since you guys are new to my channel, you know, all this stuff. Like, I don't want to, like, you know, dive in. We're not going to do that yet, okay, honey? Stay tuned for more, though. Hmm. So today we're just going to be talking about how I got my belly button pierced and the story behind why I wanted my belly button pierced. And so, yeah. So go get your popcorn, get your drink. A nice coca-cola this is not sponsored um but you know do that and let's dive right into the story time okay so it all started when because I have an older sister so she's two years older than me and I don't know if she wants her name in this so I'll just call her L A A I'll call her A so um, when me and A were younger, like about 16, oh my god, isn't that kind of crazy how I can say when we were younger, about 16? Like, time has really flown. <sighs> Stay young, kids. So anyways, um, so I remember distinctly, me and my sister, we were in Walmart. Yeah, we were in Walmart. And all of a sudden, we were like to our mom, Mom, we want belly button piercings. And... Oh my god. This was like when we were younger, younger. So I don't even know why I brought up when I was 16. Actually, I do. Okay, let's rewind. Okay, so when we were younger, we were in Walmart, and I think my sister was 16. And I was 14. And we were in Walmart, we were just talking, and we were just like, Mom, we want a belly button piercing. She's like, no, honey, wait till you're 16. Actually, no, she was like, wait till you're 18. And we were like, oh my god, why? Like, you know, right? So it was like so annoying. So we were like, fine, we'll wait, like, whatever. Fast forward, you know, I was 16. I was like, oh my god, mom, you know, I'm 16. Can I get a belly button piercing? She's like, no, I told you to wait till you're 18. I'm like, oh my god, it's fine. Two more years, whatever. So, um, on my 18th birthday, I actually just had a dinner with my friends. I really didn't want anything. But then, like, all of a sudden, I was on Instagram, and I saw these girls with belly button piercings, and I was like, oh my god, I need that. Like, I literally need a belly button piercing. Like, I think it looks so cute. Even though I have an Audi, like, it's fine. Whatever. Um, so, I was like, oh my god. And then, I go to school in Miami, in Barry University. So I saw even more girls with belly button piercings and bikinis all the time. I was like, I need to get a bikini. I need to get a belly button piercing, right? So literally, I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna do it. I was literally on, I was on Instagram and I was just looking at this girl's belly and I was like, I need to do this. So I went to sleep and in the morning I woke up, I was like, I'm ready to get my belly button pierced, let's go. So I grabbed my friend because she was telling me about this place where she got a tattoo. So I was like, okay, do they do piercings as well? And she's like, yeah, they do, they do. So I was like, oh my God, can you come with me? Like, well, cause this is, this, this was in the beginning of the year. I didn't really know anybody like that. And so everyone was like all friendly. So she was like, sure, no problem. So I invited my other friend and, um, and so we literally, I had to pay for the Uber, we pay, we drove like I think 30 minutes to this rundown tattoo place. I was actually scared out of my mind, you know, me fresh little duckling, like leaving home to this scary place in Miami and then even more scary to this little tattoo shop thingy, whatever. So we walked in and I was like, holy crap, like I don't even know what to do, like I'm like freaking out. Um, actually I 
wasn't well i was just freaking out because i was kind of scared like i was like who are these people like they're kind of scary but like i was actually like pumped i was like i'm ready for this let's go i've been waiting since i was 16 years old till i was 14 let's go let's do this you know what i'm saying i was just so pumped i was like i'm ready for it you know and if this was actually in the morning so um around like 12 ish you know the morning <laughs> But, um, so then I was like, I'm ready. Let's do this. I am pumped up. Let's go. And then they pulled out a waiver form. And I was like, oh, are they going to kill me? Uh, yeah. So I was kind of like thrown off by that because I've never gotten a piercing by myself. Actually, I have. And they gave me a waiver too. I don't know why I'm acting right now. I'm really, yeah, I really don't know why I was acting right now. Like, because when I got my third piercing, even though I don't have my earrings in, um, they gave me a waiver too, so I don't know why I was acting right now. Anyways, so they gave me a waiver and I signed it and, and then I was just waiting there for like about five, ten minutes and like these people beside me, they were like talking to me and they were like, what are you getting, all this stuff, and I was like, yeah, and they were like, oh, my niece goes to Bear University, and I was like, oh, small world, whatever. So then the guy finally pulls me back this point I'm nervous and he's like so what do you want to get done and before oh, I forgot to tell you guys this before when I was waiting like five to ten minutes I was like should I get my nose pierced to you guys they're like yeah I think it'll look cute on me and I was like are you sure like are you sure because once I get a pierce there's no going back just kidding that's not true because you can just take it out but that's a waste of money Anyways, because I've always wanted to get my nose pierced as well. So I was like, okay, guys, should I really do this right now? Like, I'm so scared. Like, I don't even know. Like, they're like, yeah, like, do it. Let's go. Like, we're here. Like, I'm like, okay, let's go. The guy calls me back. He's like, okay, you want your belly button and your nose pierced? I'm like, yeah, I do. He's like, I was like, um, wait, do you think the nose piercing would look cute on me? He's like, um believe in yourself baby girl and I was like okay so then he comes out and I'm like freaking out I'm like oh my god I don't know oh, dude. but I was also pumped I was like let's do this like I'm ready for this I was born for this okay so um he comes out and he's like okay we're gonna do your nose piercing first I'm like okay and he comes out with this giant needle like it's huge i was like kind of nervous i was like oh my god this thing is so he, he was like okay here we go like i saw this big freaking needle just sticking in my nose right here like boom and i was like Ugh. like i couldn't look at it because if i looked at it i would have freaked out like i'm not even kidding i would have like really flipped out but i didn't i was like i actually looked down I believe or I either looked down or I closed my eyes and then after that he just left the needle in and I was like um where are you going and come back right so he was like oh, this is what they did in the African tribes I was like what so anyways so then so then he came back and he put this little the jewelry in oh by the way I got to pick out my jewelry before I even started this whole thing so um he put the jewelry in and I was like so like oh my god like it kind of it was it was it didn't really hurt but it was just kind of like a shocker you know and it, it kind of throbbed a little bit but it wasn't that bad so then we moved on to my belly button piercing this I was like scared and he was like first he was like because I have an Audi he was like I don't know if we can do this um you have an Audi usually we pierce through the bottom for the Audi and it was just over like he just clipped my belly and I was just like is that it like <laughs> like it was like really like amazing so when I got home it wasn't really that it kind of like stung a little bit but it wasn't that bad like it was okay and I had to clean it every day you know of course and then yeah that's pretty much it and now I'm in love with my new belly button and I'm just 
so that is it for my story time i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you liked it and comment down below some more stories you would like to hear from me i have a ton okay or any other videos you would like to see i love you guys so much have a great day and i will see you soon bye